What's going on Gator Nation? We're here for another video, our fourth in two days for a commitment video for the Florida Gators. This one in linebacker Aaron Childs from Maryland. This kid is six foot three, 220 pounds, and he's an absolute beast of a linebacker prospect. So let's go ahead and dive into his, oh, let's turn down the music. We'll go ahead and watch the highlight tape here and then we'll get into his commitment like we have for everybody else. Um, what I like about Childs is, is he's versatile, like we talked about in the last video. Um, he's very versatile. You saw, saw him on the edge there getting the sack. But he's also, you know, has the ability to play more linebacker. He's going to be on the edge again here. You can tell he is uh, he is thick. So he is all of 220 pounds. They're playing against really good competition here. <clears throat> he, uh, he, uh, he's, he's, he's plenty big. You can see that without a doubt. He is athletic. He, he moves well. Um, one of my favorite quotes that we'll see here in a second is uh, what his head coach has to say about him on his 247 sports profile. Um, but you can see him out in space right now. He can cover. He closes well. He's not going to let the quarterback get to the edge. He's going to lay him out. You can see the, the other team ain't doing nothing to him either. He's an intimidating presence. So um, maybe in college somebody will do something about that. But uh, when you're in high school and you see that kind of kid uh, – Sticking your quarterback for the most part, kids are going to back off. Um, if I was a head coach of the other team, I wouldn't be happy about that, but um, it's what it is, man. I, I like it personally as a, uh, you know, obviously he's committed to Florida. There you can see him running, running down the quarterback, not letting him get the edge there. Um, very good. Took on a block, sprinted to the outside, made sure the quarterback couldn't get outside of him. Very good contain. Now, this is actually one of my favorite plays right here, I think, if I remember it. He's going to point out, yeah, the zone. So he doesn't have to leave his own and leave it for the quarterback to run. So he pointed out to his his fellow linebacker to, hey, take this guy. You know, he's leaving my zone. And then the quarterback is trying to get, you know, off and run where his zone's supposed to be. And he uh, points it out and also runs to cover his zone at the same time and makes the play. And uh, that's pretty much what his uh, coach – this is a pretty cool play here too. But this is what his coach pretty much has to say about him is he's just – he's uh, very smart, football savvy. He, he got this strip and then uh, – Team comes up with the ball there. That's a pretty sweet strip there, man. That's uh, you know, Florida Gators are, are have been pretty good at you know getting that ball ripped out. It's a pretty big thing in football now, and a lot of our linebackers have gotten pretty good at it. And I think he's going to be coached up to, con to continue doing that. And that was that was really nice. Here he is on the edge again, and I, you know, again, I really like the fact that he can play on the edge. I think he'll be able to kind of switch back and forth as needed. I think he will primarily play an inside linebacker position just because he does move well enough in space, as you can see right there. Uh, violent, we'll tackle him a little high, but he's so strong. You can see this kid is uh, very strong. We'll watch a couple more highlights here. Um, it's been on for about three minutes. We'll give him a couple more clips. God, he designated the screen. You know, he, he, he read the screen so quick and just exploded. He's very explosive as well. I mean, he's essentially anything you want in a linebacker prospect. He is pretty much going to have it. Um, there's not many things to dislike about him. There's a reason he's a uh, top 100 recruit. We'll end it on the tip pass here as far as his highlights, and then we'll get into his, uh, yep, just a uh, blitz quarterback. Nice play. Super athletic. Gets there a lot quicker than you think he's going to as a, you know, at a kid that size. Um, again, 6'3", 220 pounds. He's a four-star. You can see it's pretty consistently across the board, right around the top 100 range. He's all the way up to 59 on rivals. So that's really high, and it's a national recruit, number five linebacker in the entire country. Uh, 247 is slightly lower, but still high, 118, uh, number 11 linebacker. And on three is the lowest, as they have seemed to be for a recent run of commits. On three is always a little bit lower here recently. I don't know why. Uh, but he's 215th in the country on on three. I think that'll change. I will see about that for sure. Who knows? But um, you can see right there, he committed to Florida over Michigan. He had offers from Clemson. He had offers from Penn State. Uh, I think a lot of people thought he was going to go to Michigan for a little while, but Florida always felt pretty confident, um, and they got him. So uh, here is my favorite quote right here from his coach. Uh, Aaron is a prototypical linebacker with size and speed. He can run sideline to sideline. He's also the quarterback of our defense, and that's what I like to see right there. Quarterback of our defense is where linebacker, modern-day linebackers get disrespected because they don't get enough credit for being the quarterbacks of defense, essentially calling out plays, reading plays, uh, you know, captaining the defense, essentially. And that's really big. Florida has, you know, they haven't necessarily been lacking that. Um, I did like Ventrell Miller in that position. 
Uh, but, you know, Ben Shaw Miller has been injured and all that good stuff, and they didn't have anybody behind him. He was essentially the only one that had that kind of mentality. So it was really good to get Aaron Childs in the fold to go along with Adarius Hayes and Miles Graham for probably what's going to wind up being the best linebacker class in the entire country. And that's not even counting out Christopher Jones yet, um, who's a linebacker not rated much lower than Aaron Childs, um, who's down to Florida and Georgia probably. I don't know if there's going to be room for Christopher Jones or not. I'm, I'm assuming the staff pushed for his commitment, and he may not have done it. I mean, at the same time, you can switch a Darius Hayes to an edge position right here, um, who's very capable of being an edge in the future, and you can take three linebackers that way. Or you can just kind of, like, you know, like we talked about before, they can be, you know, versus hole and kind of switch them back and forth. You can take, line, you know, four linebackers and just figure it out once they get on campus. So we'll see how that works out. Either way, uh, with the three linebackers they have committed, uh, probably the best linebacker class in the nation, and probably probably Florida's you know, one of, if not their best linebacker classes of all time. Um, I know one of their best linebacker classes of all time uh, was actually with Jelani Jenkins, for those that remember him. Uh, Aaron Childs goes to the same school as him, so that's pretty cool, because um, I, I recognize the jerseys, you know, for us, for us Florida fans that are getting a bit older. Uh, we recognize Jelani Jenkins, former five-star, uh, played for Urban Meyer and company, and he was a really good player as well. He's still in the NFL, I believe. Well, now let's look at the linebacker room, the kind of impact he can have down the line. We can see here Shamar James is going to be the guy this year. He's only a sophomore, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's only a three-year player with how good he is. So we're talking about maybe Shamar James is on campus for one year, maybe two years, uh, while uh, while Childs is there competing with uh, Graham and Hayes. Uh, but, yeah, the Taraja Mitchell is super senior. He'll be gone. Manny Nunnery, we'll see if he gets one more year, maybe not. Derek Wingo is an upperclassman, and then you have Deuce Spurlock and Jaden Robinson, who are uh, not necessarily lower-rated guys, but they're not rated as highly as any of the three guys we got, including Aaron Childs, and they're also not the same size as him. I mean, they're all listed at 230, but they're all probably closer to six foot than they are six two. Uh, and so that's, that's that's awesome that Florida has that you know larger thumper at linebacker coming in with some good size. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's gonna have the opportunity to uh, to compete immediately along with Miles Graham. Anna Darius Hayes. Uh, I think all three of those kids are going to be on the field early. You know, maybe one of them gets left out and gets redshirted, but I fully expect all of them to, to at least be competing, and they're all more than capable players for Florida, who's going to have an exceptional linebacker room in two or three years, along with a really good defensive line room. And uh, I'm assuming the defensive backs will be good as well with Corey Raymond. You know, you can never count them out. So this defense is going to be really exciting in the future. Uh, but, yeah, there you see Aaron Childs, number 12 overall on the board. That's uh, all offers for Florida. It's not just kids committed to Florida. He's going to be rated the sixth commit out of 13, uh, 8.25 on the Gator Raider. So it's a really good score. That's a high four-star score. Anything over an eight is exceptionally good. Uh, basically, Dan Mullen probably was recruiting one or two kids a year that were over an eight, and Napier has six in this class. So that's awesome. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do think this is a massive get for Florida once again, uh, four four-stars in a day. Not many teams can claim that. Uh, so uh, a big answer for, for Billy Napier from the uh, public perception that he was kind of losing on the recruiting trail. He's, uh, he's brought Florida back quickly. And I think Childs is going to be a big, big part of the future at Florida. Uh, but, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, go Gators.